having someone that comes in here and gives you an opportunity, I feel, I feel like it's massive. And I didn't even know this happened. There wasn't any glaring opportunities for youngsters when, when, I, was, when I was growing up in Croydon anyway. So people would easily go to jail and then come out and go back. So basically I started Divert back in 2015 at Brixton. So the whole idea was to get um, young people that come into custody suites um, into employment, education and training and like away from crime. If you're in here for like 14 hours and you're reflecting on what's going on in your life, yeah. how powerful would it be for someone to come in here and start trying to help you? And um, this, is, this is what it can be like for, for like 14 hours. It's bland, there's nothing, there's no real comforts. And you're reflecting on why have I been arrested for the first time? What's going on in my life? Yeah. What do I want to do? Do you see what I mean? You know, and, um, yeah, and you, yeah, you definitely think about your life sitting in the <laughs> You go through school, you go through all these things, but you don't know what life is like till it's just you. Like your parents can give you the advice. But you don't know what it's like till you leave school, till you have to, I didn't even go college or whatever, but I have friends and life is different when you have to sort your stuff out for yourself. So I'm obviously the member of staff that's based within custody that has that face-to-face -face engagement with the young people that obviously come in. Um, what I do is obviously speak to them at a point in their life that they may feel that the opportunities are not there for them. And I kind of have the mindset that we give them that lifeline in a sense to kind of change their life around. I've got friends in and out of prison, I've got friends that's passed away um, and obviously on the other scale of things I've got friends that have done well in their lives. Like Wolf was saying from 25 it is a good idea to start planning out what you want to do for the next 10-15 years. This is where we take the time to listen. It gives them the chance to say look this is what I want to do with myself, this is what I want to and Aaron will say that that's like the first time someone's ever said that to me, like I ever asked me that question. That is a good idea, yeah. man, because obviously I'm sure when they come in here, the last thing they expect is someone to give them an opportunity. And I feel like that's what they need, really. Naturally, not everyone is going to want to come out. Um, you have to expect that because of the environment that it is. Some of them just want to lay down. But we give that opportunity to come back. I'll tell them, all right, if you don't want to speak now, maybe I'll come back in like 20 minutes, half an hour, and see if you change your mind. Um, when, they have, when they are given the option, chances are they do change their mind because at minimum it gets them out of their cell. Being in the palace tracksuit does help. Uh, it's kind of that icebreaker. I just introduced myself saying I'm not a member of the police. Obviously I work for Crystal Palace Foundation, delivering divert um, and then just speak to them about changing the direction of their life. Having someone that comes in here and gives you an opportunity, I feel, I feel like it's massive and I didn't even know this happened. But it's big. I think like you said, coming in palace clothes, obviously you're going to be angry at every police officer that comes through the door at first. But I feel like when he goes and he's like, I'll give you 20 minutes, 30 minutes to think about it. I feel like the, I can imagine them sitting and thinking, you know what, this might not be that bad because what am I going back to?